Hello, welcome to Iris Gaming Videos. I'm Ross, and today I'm playing the Faults Mod Pack, which is uh, by the Technic Pack, guys. Um, I'm not going to explain all of what that is right now, but uh, what I'm going to show you today is how to make a fission reactor, which is um, a good way of creating nuclear energy uh, in the Mod Pack. Um, probably one of the best kind of electricity you can generate. So, um, the first thing I'm going to do is take some steel dust. And I'm going to take it and put it in my furnace. Obviously, I've already got some here, so I've got steel ingot here. And I'm going to use these to make steel plates. So uh, I'm going to make a whole load of them because I'm going to need them quite a bit. Okay, so there we go. I've got my steel plates. There you go, 16 of them. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mine some copper ore. I'm going to take my copper ore, put it in the furnace. I've already got some. Uh, and I'm also going to get leather. Uh, so, what we're going to do, leather down the outside, and here we're making um, insulated copper cables. There we go. Make quite a bit of that, because we need that to transport our power about. There we go. Explosion of leather. Uh, get rid of that. Didn't need quite as much of that as I thought. So now, we've got insulated copper cable, and we've got steel plate. So, the first thing we're going to make is... Oh, I tell you what, no. We need to convert this to the right kind of copper or, uh, copper wire, because at the moment it's this kind of copper wire. We want that kind of copper wire. So there we go, we just do that. Put it in the crafting square, one-to-one. -one. Uh, so next, we're going to take this um, bronze and redstone, and we're going to make a bronze plate. We're going to put it in the middle there. We're going to put redstone here, 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 here. There, there, there. We put wires. Uh, and that's going to make a basic circuit. And that's what we're going to need to make more complex circuitry. And therefore make better items. Uh, if I can place these evenly. Whatever, that's close enough. Um, oh, I didn't make many of those, did I? Hmm, let's do this again. What am I doing? Well, there we go. Okay. Just make loads and loads, because uh, we're going to want some of those. We'll put those in the middle. Insulated wire around the outside, redstone around the other outside, and basic circuits. So we now got seven of those. Massive explosion again. So, now we've got these basic circuits. We want to turn these into advanced circuits. So we're going to get some more diamonds and some more redstone. And we're going to put the redstone along the top and the bottom like that I'm going to put diamond there and for each advanced circuit we're going to put two normal basic circuits on either side so I've now got three of those uh, I believe that will be enough I'm just checking, yep I need two okay so three is enough um, massive explosion uh, so get rid of some of this stuff um, I'm not going to need the wire so now I've got those advanced circuits and I've got my steel plates. I'll put those to one side because I'm going to need those in a minute and I'm going to need some wire in a minute. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is make some electric motors. So I've got a crafting square. I put steel ingots around there as we used before. Put some iron in the middle and we're going to put copper cable around the outside and we're going to make some motors. So we go. That's that. Uh, and those are the basic components we're going to need. So, to actually make the reactor itself, we're going to want motors in the corners. We're going to want advanced circuits at the side. Oh, no, sorry, no, the top and the bottom. And the steel plates at the side. And there we go. We have a fission reactor. So, um, yeah, now we can start setting this up ready to generate electricity. Okay, so now I'm actually going to build my nuclear reactor. So the first thing I do before I touch anything nuclear, I've got this hazmat suit, which is like a, a nuclear radiation suit. And that is going to protect me uh, once I start. So uh, I've got this little hole in the ground. Um, now down here, I'm going to place a piston. I'm going to place a control rod on top of the sticky piston. And basically a control rod I can raise closer or further away from the the uh, fission reactor, which I'm actually going to put here, in the middle. 
if I move it close then it will slow down the reaction, if I move it away then it will speed it up. So I've, I've got some control. Uh, obviously this is nuclear, we want to be careful. Um, just going to create somewhere where I can put the lever for the piston. Goat lever, put it down there. That way I can raise it closer or lower it further away. I'll block that up a little bit so that stuff doesn't fall out. Um, you see I have lots of water buckets here. If I get some of those and I fill up this. There we go, because that water is going to be heated up by the reactor and that is going to turn it into steam and the steam will go up and it will generate electricity. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, so, what do I want to do next? Um, I'm actually going to put a battery box over here, because that's where we're going to put our power once we generated it. And uh, I'm going to put a bit more glass around this. Do this properly, get some more water on there. So, need more buckets. Ow, oh, damn it. Okay. Uh There we go. Okay, so what do I want to do next? I want to place that there. I'm going to get my nine reactor turbines. So what I do is I place them above the water because so as the water gets heated up it creates steam which turns the turbines and generates power out of that that socket on the top. But what I can actually do to make my reactors more efficient if I cover up the whole lot of water, and with a wrench that I don't have, uh, there we go, I'm going to right click on the middle, and it's going to turn it into one big turbine, so that's more efficient and um, it looks nicer as well. Uh, so, I kind of can't actually get to the, the insides there actually, I'm going to have to find a way to be able to, there we go, I'll, I'll just... Hmm. I'll do that. There we go. Now I can now I can get inside there to sort things out. Uh, it is of course okay because I have my radiation suit. Now I'm going to get my copper wire that I made earlier. You should always keep these things. You never know when they'll be handy. I'm going to make an arch of wire over to this battery box. And you notice if I try and connect it here, it won't connect. It will only connect on these two sides. Uh, and I want this red side, the side with the red. If you see that red there, that's the input. So that's where I want to put my power. Um, so, I guess I can start my nuclear reactor. I have some uranium rods over here. I'm going to get one. I'm going to put it in my reactor. So, to put stuff in the reactor, left click on it. No, sorry, right click on it and it will um it will start now if i wasn't wearing my radiation suit i would actually um i would start getting poisoned by the radiation but as you can see it makes makes a humming noise you see as it's heating up the water it's not turning very fast but it will turn faster don't worry but it's turning this turbine on top if i get up there you can see it turning nice animation uh, and you can see that that turns around in there. You see, it's sort of taking rid of the, getting rid of the water. That should, those water blocks should fill up um, as as the water flows because the infinite water glitch. And there you go. You can see we're now generating electricity. You can use that electricity for whatever you want in the mod. Uh, all everything in the mod uses one kind of electricity, which is what's better about it than maybe Techie or the Technic pack. Uh, that's what's so much different, even though it's by the same, it's the, the pack is put together by the same guys. So, um, I hope that was helpful. Thank you very much. Subscribe if you like this, and look out for more. I will be doing more videos uh, on the Volts pack. You can go get it, uh, link in the description, or go to the Technic pack website, and there's a link on there to download the launcher. It is, of course, on the Technic pack launcher, just as Tech It and uh, Hack Slash Mine are all on there so it's very easy to get so um, just update your launcher 
Thank you for watching, hope this has helped. As I say, we will have more tutorial videos uh, about the Volts Pack, and thank you. Goodbye.